everybody welcome to Sherry's crafting all right guys if y'all are seeing this video that means I've already had surgery and I am recuperating my son will be loading these videos there's four videos total so you guys will still be getting content while I am recuperating so when you now right now you're watching me before surgery so get that straight because I know people are gonna be like why is she loading videos because I got these videos pre low pre recorded for you guys all right guys this is gonna be a stand for your uh, cell phone and what you do is you go to Walmart Y'all know you can get these pre-cut fabric um, squares. They call Fat Quarter. This is the Waverly. Um, it's 18 inch by 23 inch. This is the teal and white polka dot, which y'all know they have all kinds of colors. They have some like this. That's the purple. They have some like this. That's the blue. Whatever color. You want. You're gonna need some polyfill. I have got a bunch over here. Now, I am going to use uh, these little scatter gems. Um, they little decorative accents. These are the little white ones, or you can get the blue. They look like little diamonds, or you can get the red. And instead of using rice to kind of give mine a little uh, more weight to it, I'm going to use these because I will be able to throw it in the wash and throw it in the dryer even if it gets dirty. Because if you put rice, you're not going to be able to wash it. Okay, and I'm going to use a dowel. You need your sewing machine. If you don't have one, you can hand sew it. Alright, one little piece I have already cut. And let me make sure I give y'all the measurements. What I did is I took and I folded a piece of fabric in half. And the half is 5 inches by... four and a half inches so it's five inches this way four and a half this way on my fold I fold it in half like this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew this side and this side because the fold down here it's already you don't have to sew it then you're gonna take and cut 12 inches this way and then it's going to be I think it's nine yep then nine inches this way so it's 12 at the top and nine inches this way then you're on fold it in half like so okay because here's the pretty and there's the outside I know it's a little hard for you guys to see it but the, that's the pretty side and what we're going to do is we're going to leave a little spot here so that we can use to fill it with our uh, polyfill or cotton fill, whichever one you want to put it. And we're going to sew all the way down here. Leave the bottom down here open for right now, okay? Alright, I'm going to sew this. Then I'll come back and show y'all how to put it together. Because this little machine is loud. So I'll be right back. Okay. Now, this I sewed the little pouch 
I sewed all the way down here and all the way down here. Now, I did it inside out. Now you're going to turn it. And then we're going to fill our little pocket. People might want to hand sew theirs, but I'm going to show y'all. I'm not hand sewing mine. I'm going to use a sewing machine. Alright, you see how it kind of wants to go this way? instead of this way we're going to let it go the way it wants to and I'm going to run a straight stitch all the way across the top and my sewing machine Any of them that tries to come out, you know, you can kind of push those up in there. Back stitch it. Get to the end, back stitch. Okay. And it will be like this. And don't worry about how the edges here look. I got one spot there. Okay. Right. Now, let me trim this here and off. So you guys see what I'm doing. Okay. See how I left? Let's see, it's about an inch and a half, a little spot here. What you're going to do is, since I went all the way around on the side and I left this side open, you're going to turn your fabric inside out. Is I'm taking our bag. I'm going to see how this goes in here like this. Now, this is the side that's open. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to fold in all the way around. Now, 
Now, I'm going to sew all the way, but I'm going to leave a little bit piece here, okay? A little here on the end so that we can fill it. Okay, <clears throat> you're going to hear the saw machine, guys. Backstitch. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up one inch and I'm going to sew a straight stitch all the way across. Then I'm going to do a half an inch all the way across. Now, I'm going to do my half inch stitch. Where I marked it. And so all the way across. Back stitch. backstitch when I start and when I finish. Now, any strands you have <clears throat> hanging, cut those things off and we're going to start filling. And I just take some poly where I have my hole on the end. And I'm going to start filling this in. And guys, you can use any kind of fabric you want to on this, okay? Work it around in there. The more poly you put in it, the little firmer it will be. Depends on how firm you want it. If you don't like this design guys you can take and make it like um, the emojis you can make the round circles you can make the I call them poop <laughs> you can uh, make them any kind of way you want to any kind of design Okay, 
since I have this in, I'm just going to run this through my sewing machine. And I'm just going to sew this part where it didn't sew so that we could have a place to fill it. Okay. If you want to hand stitch it, guys, you can. Now we're going to take some of this poly. This is where your stick is going to come in handy. You're going to take where you left that little hole and we're going to start filling this in. Take your pencil you can use a pencil and just start pushing it down in there And then we're going to sew up that end, and guys, that's it. And I'll show you what it looks like. And the reason I'm making this, a lady asked me if I could show y'all how to make it. So, I said, sure. Okay, here on the end, we need to sew this. You can slip stitch, straight stitch, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to get this under my sewing machine. And... Back stitch, straight stitch, and back stitch, and straight stitch. And I used some gray on here so that you guys could kind of see where the stitches are. But you can use white sewing thread. Does not matter. And here you are. You're done. I'm gonna turn my phone this way so y'all won't see my picture I have on it. <laughs> but you can use it this way. You can use it this way. Hope you guys like it. Quick, simple. You can make a bunch of them in no time. You can use any kind of fabric that you wish. But you can take it, throw it in the trash can, in the wash machine, and it will come right back just like this. Alright guys, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, and talk to you guys later.